Hello, uh, I would like with this video to share some tips uh, which I use in my current work, but uh, which also might be useful for you or yeah, for anybody. So first a little backstory. Uh, I'm a teacher and uh, as a year ago I wrote my thesis on uh, to become a teacher. And uh, I had a lot of problems with uh, getting good feedback from my lecturers. Uh, and uh, I would like to show you how you could potentially give yourself feedback. But if you work with, for example, uh, grading thesis or um, something like that, you can maybe use this tool to uh, make your own work a lot more accurate and... Uh, helpful so yes i have written down three steps which i will use uh, on my own uh, th thesis as is a thesis i wrote when i became a teacher so the first step i will utilize is uh, to generate a good prompt with a prompt and uh, this is the prompt that i will use for this uh, case and then I will try to generate a structure uh, and the structure is how I want the information for myself or for example for a student um, so it's concise and uh, easier to, to read. And the third step I will use is that I will use ChatGPT together with my thesis and with uh, this structure that I generate to uh, yeah make everything to come together so um, let's get going so as i said i have written a uh, thesis this is my thesis and it's a it's a programming as a dig digital tool in upper secondary school um, this is about 33 pages long i will link this document to uh, together with my prompt that they will generate soon and then I will get good comments and good feedback uh, with the AI um, which I can then use to maybe make my work better. The first prompt I will use is this prompt here and it says something like I want you to become my prompt creator. Your goal is to help me craft the best possible prompt for my needs. The prompt will be used by you chat GPT and you will follow the following process and number one is your first response will be to ask me what the prompt should be about and um, i will provide my answer but we will need you and i to improve it through continual continual iterations by going through next step and the second step is based on the input i give to the ai you will generate three sections and these three sections are a revised prompt so through each iteration i will get a new prompt that will be uh, based upon the the recent suggestions that we have have come up with together and uh, this prompt should be clear and concise and easily understood so basically what this means is that uh, I and my brain and the AI will work together to figure out a very good prompt and in this case we will together create a prompt that will help me grade or even uh, give good comments to myself about my own work but this could be very well used for others other works in actually any field but so I, this is my use case, so to say. Okay, so I just copy this prompt here. And this prompt here I found on the internet. There are many prompts which you can find on the internet. And uh, this one is uh, a very good prompt because with this prompt, you can basically generate your own very good prompts. So I just take this prompt. Um, I will use GPT-4 for this because GPT-4 uh, has a lot more training data and thus gives uh, much more clearer, concise and professional information, so to say. 
this would work probably very good with uh, the point uh, 3.5 as well but as i'm paying for the uh, number four i i will use it so i just paste this prompt to chat gpt and it will start asking me questions so the first question i get is uh, I'm happy to assist you in creating a more refined and effective prompt. Let's start with the first step. What is the general subject or purpose of the prompt you would like to create? So the purpose is to now I have now and now I have to think about uh, what I want myself. But it's easier to think about it when I get get a question rather than trying to figure it out myself. So what is the general subject so the general subject is uh, grading and commenting uh, th uh, thesis exam work uh, student 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 thesis exam work yeah. let's let's do this and now we will see the, 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 the new prompt, which we then can look at and make decision upon. So let's see um, the general subject. Here are three sections based on your input. So the revised prompt currently is as an AI Langman module developer, I need your guidance to effectively grade and provide constructive comments. Please provide specific criteria and aspects you would like me to focus on. B, suggestions. To improve the prompt, you might consider including the field of study or the topic of the thesis. So this is a, the field is, so I will now press one, and then I will say the field is a thesis, thesis work for teacher, yes. And then we look um, the desired length. Yes, we can do that. Let, let, let's look at number two first. Specify criteria or rubric for grading. Example, clarif clarity of argument, depth of research, or originality, structure, grammar, and style. Um, I will leave that for now. And I will focus on number three. Any specific things to look for, look out for, or avoid. So three will be, be grade the work professionally, find inconsistencies and errors in the text. Let's see the desired length of my of the comments about let's say about uh, two pages, about two pages, pages, something like that. Five. Uh, whether you'd like a summary judgment or detailed critique or both. So I'll say five, both. And then we have some questions. Could you clarify the field, specify? I will, I will just press this and then I will look what we get. As an AI language model, I require your guidance to conduct a professional assessment of a student's thesis exam work for the teacher's field of study, my task is to grade. Include these points to make the prompt more detailed, provide a rubric. Could you please, please, pro, could you please provide the specific grading rubric you would like me to use? No, that I don't want to. I will look at the C and then I will say, purpose is to give the student guidance this exam and then we look at what common errors of inconsistency should I be particularly attentive to three you should look for grammar comma courses a good research re Search. What tone and style should the field be formal or educational or encouraging? So number four should be educational. 
Let's see what it does now. The revised prompt is, as an AI language model, I'm tasked with professionally evaluating a student's thesis exam work in the field of education. My objective is to provide grading and two pages of educational feedback focused on the grammar, sourcing, and the quality of research. The purpose of this assessment is not only to grade a student's work, but also to guide them towards successful completion of their exam. Can you provide a detailed rubric or criteria? We will say now no grading. We will focus on giving good, clear, concise feedback that the student can use to enhance their work. Something like that. Yes. <coughs> Thanks for the clarification based on your CS updated prompt. I will want to remove this as an AI language model deployed by OpenAI. This will, I, I will remove this and replace that with you. So when you say you, or maybe you are an examinator. And let's see what we have now. I'm tasked with reviewing a student's thesis exam work in the field of education. My objective is to provide two pages of educational feedback aimed at improving the student's work. I need to, to focus specifically on grammar, citations of sources, and the quality of research. The purpose of this is not to is not to grade the work, but to provide clear, concise, and constructive feedback that the student can use to enhance their thesis. Yes, this is very good. I like this a lot, so I will use this prompt now. And uh, I could further improve this by uh, bouncing back and forth with the AI, but I, I'm happy with this so far. So I will go back to my notes here and I will paste this prompt in here. And then I will, uh, I will remove some parts of it. And this is the first part here. And here I will, I will say like, your role is to, and then I will take away this, reviewing a student's thesis. So this is, your role is to review, review a student's thesis exam work in this. Your, your objective is to provide two pages, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I need to focus, you need to. So you need to focus specifically on grammar citations. The purpose of this is not to grade the work of the student, but to provide clear, concise, and constructive feedback the student can use to enhance their thesis. So this is excellent. And uh, yeah, and then we will also add, here is the link to the student's work, like so. So this is this is my this is my prompt now. So together with uh, the AI model, I have uh, come up with this prompt. Now I would actually want to generate a a structure to get concise feedback for uh, multiple users. So for this part two, I'm actually finished with this part here. So I cross that out. And now I would like to generate a structure. And uh, I could use this prompt to generate a good structure, but I could also use it like this. Now I would also like you, like you to help me generate a good structure for the comments. I think you should start with uh, head headlines such as um, name of student, um, name of thesis, topic, um, a summary, like summary I want. A short summary, a short summary about the thesis. And then I would like, what would I like more? Maybe the institution, 
institution and uh, yeah uh, surprise me <laughs> okay let's see student's name thesis brief summary affiliated institution so we'll use this these three and then we will actually create a new uh, document here for this then I will paste this in here and then I will say I want the student's name I want the thesis topic I want a brief summary uh, I want the affiliated institutions to be like here I believe and then the topic then the brief summary then an overview of the evaluation some grammar assessments citations of sources research quality analysis uh, analysis constructive feedback and recommendation and conclusion I like this a lot so this document I will say examination comment structure structure like such then I have to share this link so I have to share it with uh, everybody with the link so I'll copy this link and now I would also like here to say use this structure for the comments and here I'll paste the link to uh, this structure and now I will take the link to my my work put that here and now I'm finally finished the good part about this is now I can use this entire prompt and the, the structure, I can use this for my own work and my own thesis, but I could also use it for others. So let's take this and let's go to ChatGPT. Let's start a new chat. Let's go to GPT-4. And then I would now like to use the new plugin feature. And there are a lot of plugins in the store. And if I look at this link reader, I can link this to PDFs and Word documents and such. So, and I've used this before. So I will use this link reader. And now I will copy the entire thing here and paste it in and see what's get generated. So as I can see, the link reader is now loaded for the first document and it's also loaded for the second document. So based on the structure provided in the Google document and the content of the student's thesis, here's our two page, here's a two page review focusing on grammar, citations of sources and the quality of research. So now we can see here that we first get the title, then we get the author, then we get the reviewer. I don't like this, but that's okay. Then we also get the date. So if we, if we look at the structure that we generated, we can now see that we have the student's name uh, here. We have the affiliated institution, which I hoped it, I, I hoped it to pick the institution here, but I can see now that this is actually a picture, so it can't take this yet. But it maybe should have taken this. But there's actually there's actually nowhere that the AI in this exam paper can find the. Malmo University so it's okay but let's see so let's see what we, let's see what we, what we got so grammar the thesis is generally well written with a clear structure and logical progression of ideas however there are a few areas where the grammar could be improved and it says that the sentence structure there are instances where Sentences are overly long and complex, which can make the content difficult to follow. Try to break down these sentences into smaller, more digestible parts. For example, in the section 3.3, Unpastings for Morga, some sentences could be simplified for clarity. So let's look at this. So we go to the Unpastings for Morga, and it should be here. So if we look at... 3.3 here and now it's suddenly Swedish I apologize for this but it's what I wrote originally wrote it in so we can see here some sentences could be simplified for clarity does it give me an example on this no it doesn't because I didn't ask for it but let's see so what did it say some sentences could be simplified okay 
we could definitely we could use now use AI to give me examples on this. But we will continue what what this here has generated. So consistency ensure consistency in tense usage. There are a few instances where the tense switches from past to present, which can be confusing for the reader. So that's something I could look up. The sources. The thesis include a number of citations, which is commendable. However, there are a few areas for improvement. Citation style. Ensure that the citation style is consistent through the thesis. It appears that the citation style varies in different sections of the thesis. In-text citations. Make sure all claims, theories, or data are not common knowledge are probably cited in the text. For example, in the section 4.1, why is digitalization important? There are several statements that could benefit from direct citations. So let's look at this, 4.1. So we go up here to the so 4.1. Why is digitalization important? So what does it say? There are several statements that could, be, could benefit from direct citations. This is a citation, so it should be okay. This is also one. So now here I'm not quite sure what is referring to because I have citated a lot here, but it's probably something I could also ask it to expand upon. And then we have the quality of this research conducted for this thesis is extensive and covers a broad range of topics related to digital tools in education. Here are a few suggestions to improve the quality of research. Um, the methodology, how I've conducted the research. The methodology section could benefit from a more detailed explanation of the data collection and the analysis con process. I agree completely with this point because I made a very, uh, very small um, uh, research in in my work. It was basically, if I remember correctly, um, here. This was my, this was my, uh, this was my research mainly, where I just asked some some teachers. This could be more extensively. Uh, there could have been more questions. There had, could have been better graphs for displaying the 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 information. So I agree completely with this this point, which is, has given me here. And then we say use of primary and secondary sources. The thesis, could, the thesis could benefit from a wider range of sources, including more primary research and up to date secondary sources. This would strengthen the arguments made and provide a more comprehensive view of the current state of digital tools in education. So, um, yeah, one funny part is uh, about this. So I wrote this entire paper about digitalization in, in, in school. And uh, thanks to AI, uh, everything has changed. So I agree to 100% on this point because there are new tools that could really, really benefit uh, digitalization in school. So, yeah. Discussion and analysis. While the thesis does a good job of presenting the research, it could benefit from a more in-depth analysis and discussion of the findings. This would help to highlight the significance. So, uh, the findings is probably what it refers to then in, let's see, slutsats. Uh, this is what, like, this is my findings and yeah, I agree there, th th this is like one page. Uh, this is one page of the findings and uh, I agree, this should be a lot broader. Uh, there's 33 pages and I have one pages what, what I figured out was like important, uh, yeah. And then maybe I would uh, create create a new Word document. And reviewer, reviewer is myself. The date is good. Uh, grammar, citations, sources. Yeah. And maybe I want more. Maybe I want 
uh, can you summarize the thesis in half of a page? Um, so I'm quite happy with this because this gives me quick feedback on some points that I could definitely rework or enhance or add to, to make my uh, thesis better. Can you summarize the thesis in half a page? So what do I get now? The thesis titled Programming as a Digital Tool in Upper Secondary School by Yusuf explores the impact of digitalization and programming in the context, context of upper secondary education. The author investigates three main questions. What competence relating to programming do students need to develop to, to contribute in society 2030? What do we as a school need to develop to change? How do students and teachers view their digital skills in schools today? And Noba's interests in answering these questions lies in the importance of understanding what the future will bring in terms of the importance of understanding what the future will bring in terms of the use and how to best meet the needs of students in that context. His method of investigation involves surveying, surveying fellow teachers and asking them extensively about their views on the pros and cons of digitalization in school. He also collaborates with a Swedish teacher to have students represent their thoughts on the topic. Yeah, this is also true. That's, that's part of my research. And in the text. The thesis concludes that the rapid development, so this is a conclusion, um, shows no signs of slowing and schools must adapt quickly to these changes. Oh, this is so in time, right in time. I agree with this 100%. The more knowledgeable students teachers are acquiring in the field of programming, the more involved they can be in the development. I agree with this point a lot. Uh, I've noticed that many people that are right now learning about AI or, or trying to understand like these tools are people that already have uh, computer knowledge and people that do not, they are not seeing how to you how it can be useful or uh, how they can utilize it yet. Um, the author emphasizes the importance of skills such as teamwork. Let's add this to the text as well such okay so what do we have here now so let's see how much time i've spent so i've spent 30 minutes to generate a good prompt reviewing the entire exam or thesis paper of uh, myself um, and then i've written a extensively commentary about what it what, what the thesis is about different uh, points that uh, the thesis could benefit from uh, implementing so that it will be more professional and uh, better. And if I would like, I could improve these points as well, but this is a short comment and, and these are viable points. And it's important to note here that this doesn't replace the teacher. Uh, this is a a tool for the teacher to actually make a more focused, accurate, and uh, professional work uh, to give to give relevant information that will help the students to improve their own work. So, as I know what I myself has written, if I uh, if I haven't written or or, or read uh, the the work of my student. In, in forehand, then this won't replace, like, I have to review what the AI gives me to see if this is something usable or not. So, but the, the good thing, so, so I'm very happy with this. This is, a, this is something I would put in a mail to myself uh, so I can improve my own work. Let's see if we can do this for like another work. So, doesn't matter which one. We can take intercultural education in a big classroom. So let's take this work here. We have it here. And this is uh, 24 pages from some guy. So we can take now, we can take this link. 
we can paste that and what we need to replace is this here. Now, now that's the structure, sorry. We need to use this. So now we'll take this text here. I will go back to the chat. I will start a new chat. I will select GPT-4 with the plugins and then I will paste this. So this is uh, a work I have uh, never read before. And now I'll get a quick summarization about this work, or actually this is this will give uh, this student here uh, feedbacks feedback on their work. And uh, I would have to I would have to look at the comments that the AI model gives me, and then I would have to also read this uh, thesis from these uh, students, and then I would like have to evaluate is what the AI is saying correct or is it incorrect is there something is it true can we can we learn something but anyhow this gives me a instant feedback on certain points about these th this thesis and yeah so I want to emphasize that uh, using AI models or prompts to uh, generate or give me the information doesn't replace uh, what I have to learn about uh, the student's work. I must still read and understand what this work is about, but when I will write a text or comment, which was the uh, topic of this video, I would also have to had to uh, incorporate my own understanding about this work with what the uh, AI model is telling me. Um, anyhow, this can save me tremendous amount of time and as I said before, still lead to a much more professional, structured and helpful comment for that student. So let's see what we got here. We got something like, this is the title, it couldn't take the author's name because, I don't know, uh, maybe because there were two authors, I'm unsure. Then the date, it couldn't figure that out as well. Does it doesn't stand here? Um, yeah, it actually stands here. I don't know why it couldn't figure that out, but it's still very helpful because I could still just replace this with the date because I have to read the text also. Um, grammar overall, the grammar in the thesis is quite good. However, there are few areas. The abstract is well written, but could benefit from a more concise presentation of the main points. I don't know if this is true. I have to read the text myself first, but it's probably there are there are probably many points here that are very valuable for me. So I will do one last thing, and that is to can you give me a short can you give me a short description of the thesis i will use this th short description which i wrote wrong um, to just look at uh, this part and see if it's the same so i will read this now I det mångkulturella klassrummet i Sverige behövs lärare använda olika verktyg för att inkluderingsarbete i ämnet religionskunskap. Utgångspunkten. Dagens skola i Sverige skiljer sig väldigt mycket från det Sverige som har varit och den som en gång var. Folkskolans regler och religion kom fram kyrklig, bandet kyrka, folk ska kristendom, präster, det är inte religion, 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 livsskådningar, elever, eh, vikt. Even at land lifted from undervising could set the prelas and some has a So this is much about uh, school, religion, and uh, where the school comes from and what it is now. Let's see what the AI has said. The thesis, the, the, the thesis. Here it knows the names. Multicultural, it's emphasis on religion, exactly. Multicultural, absolutely. Yeah, so I agree with this approach. Mm. This also provides a big purpose of religion again. Religion again. As I'm saying, I'm, I'm working quite quick because I want this video to be short. It's probably already 40 minutes. But I agree that this 
uh, corresponds to uh, a lot of what I quickly read here as well. Um, and now I have this now I have this um, this text here, which is well written, uh, good documented, and uh, I could. It helps me to understand the concept or the, the focus of that work rather quickly, but never rely completely on AI for now, because you always have to question yourself a lot. And you also always have to be critical uh, to AI because AI is trying to figure out the next word in sentences and it can hallucinate and it can provide false information so you always have to to look at what you get and put that in context of want, what you want to figure out and see if it's correct so it doesn't replace you but it can uh, benefit you and help you a lot so yes let's go back to what i wanted to talk about it's worth putting a lot of effort in the structure if you want the structure and definitely the most important part is almost always uh, the prompt you use you have to think about it a lot and uh, as you work more and more with these ais you understand certain roles uh, certain uh, words that you can use for example this your role is to that is a very powerful word which actually lets the ai uh, kind of go into a role which helps it to if i would say your role is to review a student thesis work you are a research examinator this would uh, be a better better prompt for 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 this type of work because then this ai would play that role as a researcher and it would 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 gather uh, information which it has in its great data set uh, from researchers and, and, and it would be more focused on that researching part which is a big part in a, a, a thesis. I have been mumbling a lot here but what am I what I'm trying to say is that I think we can benefit immensely uh, in many different ways and, and with us I, I mean teachers and students alike um, by with its, these tools if we know about them and, and understand them and learn how to use utilize them together we could benefit probably from them a lot <laughs> I would put more than 30 minutes in generating the prompt, prompt, prompt because it would have benefited the work a lot more this is quite quick but if you put more time, you can save a lot more time. And still, reviewing, kind of re reviewing and commenting what I've done to uh, works, uh, uh, thesis works uh, in in like 20 minutes, it's it's uh, yeah, uh, very impressive. I think that was all for me for now. I hope this has been a little bit helpful. I will post this prompt in the description so you can use it if you want. If you generate some good prompts, please put that in the comments of my video. I would love to see them. And that was all for me today. Uh, thank you very much. Bye bye.